So let's go into a new command that we have called edit sketch, which was created explicitly for the reason of being able to manually redraw and edit these sketches. So we go into edit sketch, um, and this is, which is a brand new phase, a brand new command. It's a, actually a little sub phase within the application. It even gets its own little tab, kind of a temporary tab that you have to hit finish or cancel to get out of. First thing I might want to do is kind of square this up. So it's kind of cockeyed right now, kind of skewed in space. So we're going to use uh, a couple of commands to orient it. I'll choose best fit. And I want to snap a line to vertical. So if I just select this, it's actually going to select the underlying point data, fit a line to it, rotate it around there. There's that nice animation. And you'll get a couple of indicators. So here I see indicators of which lines are vertical and which ones are horizontal. And it's about what I would expect. I don't know that anything else would be that. I would wonder why this isn't a vertical line. An indicator of that is to turn on dimensions and see that actually it has a radius. So that means it was fit as an arc. So that's an error. We shouldn't have an arc there. Um, so the easiest thing to do is rather than go back and change the segmentation and other things to try to run the automatic fit again, we just wanted a quick way to just go in here, just delete these curves, and then either redraw or refit. So here now we have the ability to just simply click and create a line. So here I'm going to create a line. And as you can see, that it kind of snaps to, in this case, the uh, vertical. And then I can use things like trim to quickly trim up that line. Make a corner. Then if I want, I want to put a fillet on there. I can specify a radius. In this case, uh, I know that this corner is about 0.35. Or a really cool thing is this new drag fillet. And th what this allows me to do is just click the corner point and then just use my mouse to place it about where I need to go. And actually, you probably didn't see that, but you'll notice that when I drag, you'll see that that radius value, the annotation for it there, updates as well. And again, I can just kind of place it right over the underlying data. If I want to know how good I did, I can just turn on deviation, and I get a nice color line. The, the points get colored according to the deviation. So I can see areas where I'm out just a little bit. So maybe over here, uh, this radius is not very good, but if I just take this line, move it up, as soon as I release, it's going to update that color map, and it shows me that now I'm in the right place. Same thing here. Move that line up, and now it's green. Up here, I have a little bit different problem, which is that quite a bit of deviation, but the reasoning is, is this probably shouldn't be just one big arc. In fact, it's actually a, a straight line segment here that becomes an arc. So we'll go to our best fit line, which is another way to create it, where I just select some points, and it'll snap a line. It's very handy. And then I can go and just fit a little tangent arc in between those two corner points, just like that. And then I can just move and snap that. And now I've got a nice complete profile ready to go. I might turn on my deviation checker one last time to see. Uh, I can even turn on the tangent vertices. This will tell me if I have any non-tangency conditions, which so far it looks like everything's tangent. So it's nice and smooth. I'm going to get a nice smooth surface. One other thing we did add, uh, there are cases where you may not want these little fillets. And if you don't, because you want to go to, uh, let's say, a CAD package and add your own fillets in 3D, not a problem. You can go to remove. We have an automatic, kind of a, called a automatic sharpening for sketches, so to speak, where it will automatically remove any fillet that occurs between two lines and create and replace it with a sharp edge. So if you prefer to not have little tiny radii in your sketch perfectly understood, you just uh, remove those fillets if you like. When you hit finish, it will rebuild the surface. And we do now support sharp edges on the surfaces, which is a new feature for 2012. Graphically, you can see them. Again, that's new for 2012. 